I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Well, what's the alternative? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. I don't know. I mean, I thought he seemed sincere. Why set all this up if he wasn't going to really let us fix things? Yeah, well, color me skeptical. That'll just be a new trial next time. He really ought to give us a break hey, between trials. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh -huh. me, me, me too. About wow, that was really subtle. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To, I don't know, find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. That did not sound serious. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Oh, don't throw this on me. You're the one who keeps looking for an excuse to get away. Uh, hello. Just because we don't spend as much time together doesn't mean I'm still not your friend, tummy. Uh, see... This is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought, too. <gasps> it's the alpaca! Oh, no? That llama? Oh, a llama. I think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Yep. Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse? My rival. Should have known I would find you here. Hush, I'm talking. Wow, you are mean. Yeah, hi, Stella. Hi? That's all you have to say for yourself. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, leader of Champion City. Kind of a lame name. Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did, and put things right again. Just... wow. Pretending to be a hero again, just like back in your treasure room? I... no! Just... I am going to fix it. <laughs> well, I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. I don't tell her. Alright, let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Hey, if she wants to take this crap out of my hands, that's fine. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. 
So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. I was kind of hoping she was maybe he'd take an interest in her instead. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. That poor llama. Did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> Yay, achievement. Uh, you okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh, we need to keep an eye. Whoa. Wow, that is very nice. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. That is very yeah. impressive. And it's all ice? <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> I know. Jack, speechless. Lucas, you better write that down. Already jotted it down under rare occurrences and phenomena. Hey, come on. Rude. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we going to get up there? Well, the admin Built. mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's going to be, like, obstacles or something when we get there. <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost. Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Huh, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. <laughs> Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. Okay. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh. How do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Hey, Radar is really brave, all right? Oh, yeah. Really super brave, I'm sure. Who even invited you anyway? I'm just telling you, Jesse, I'd be careful about counting on him for anything. Come along, Luna. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed, and I can prove it. Okay, I thought before he was untrustworthy, but now I realize he's he's got a past. So if that's what the situation requires. I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be you. See, and that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. <laughs> Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No overcompensating? Kidding. Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers. That should pretty much be written on that guy's head. I mean, I get that making a character, but after a while it's just annoying. Choice of company. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not. Uh, how do I say this? Losers? Wow. Mr. Admin, mighty sir. I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? Oh, please. No, never. <laughs> it's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. I love that. I love that he called her out. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. 
Separate the strong from the weak. All right. So, we'll see how your little companions do. Hey, you watch it, Admin. Well, don't even worry about it because my friends here aren't weak. Mm hmm. Cool. If you say so. Oh, come Weird now, form. Don't be that way. This. This is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wait, mining fatigue? Cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. What? But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I was pretty. Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun. So, anyway. I'll give you one thing, Admin. This place is pretty spectacular. That's what I like to hear. I knew you'd understand. I want to keep this guy inside. Oh, 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 I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, get this show on the road. Landing. Ah, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. All right, good for him. He actually, he actually did something cool for once. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, what? We're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. I want to take that llama off her. I don't think she's a responsible caregiver. Wow, it's it's amazing. Hmm, hmm two parts. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do with a prize like that. I know that it sounds amazing, and that I want it. Oh, really? Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. Oh. Hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. Well, she ran off a bunch of times, so I don't think she likes it at all, or you. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be... Uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Last I checked, he was the one who got caught. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, yeah, have, I have fun. Never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Well, wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Miss filing your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was. That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword swinging meathead, they think they can just walk all over me. Well, let them finish. They look 
at me and my, well, my, my skinny little arms and, and they think they know me. They think they know me. Well, they are wrong. Dead wrong. I mean, I have been an embarrassment sometimes, but it stops here. It ends today. And I... I guess I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Nope. That's it, Luna, darling. She's got the clock sent. <laughs> Later, losers. We're wasting time. Wait. The admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? Nope. We could really use a hand over here. This isn't even a judgment call. I gotta go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. Woohoo! I knew you'd make the smart choice. I mean, they probably. I mean, these two probably need more help, and also, they're not the ones who keep ditching me. Now I kind of wish I trusted Raider more. If I'd known this choice was gonna come. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I question my judgment. Watch out. Jeez, what a rubbish ending that would have been. That's one way to get where you're going. Oh, he got sick. <laughs> 